Hello, this is Alpha V Productions back with another video, and today I'm going to show you my board game collection. It's not that much, but a lot of worth to me. Let's start. So, right here Dungeons and Dragons, Stratego, Houses and Allies, Risk, Monopoly, you know, whatever. Okay, let's start with. No, uh, you're up 1940. I only have the box, so it's really light since I'm still doing those. The parts of, of just a solo player of Axes and Allies. You're up. It's a lot more different than the original Axes and Allies right there and right there. Um, But it's a really nice game when you get to know it. You know what I mean? Good video. It's a good board game. I'll give it a, a 9 out of 10. Connect 4. Classic game. Uh, You probably know how to play it. It's pretty easy. I'll give this, let me buy what Hasbro. I'll give this like a eight out of 10 or seven out of 10, seven. Um, back to crap, not really a kid's game. Um, it's mostly for like teenagers, adults. I'm not really a teenager. I'm just an 11 year old, 11 year old kid. So back to crap, it's your call. It's like, I think it's like apples to apples. Just an adult version. I don't, I don't really know. I'll give this a 6 out of 10 since I never, like, played it. Password. It's just trivia game, same as that game, Hollywood Game Night. It's, you've probably seen this all, probably on a, like, like a TV show. It's, and same as this, made by NBC. And 12 plus. That's okay. I'm 11. I can probably play it. It doesn't even, you don't even have to do that. I can be, I can play it. It's not like illegal or anything. I'll give this like a 5 out of 10. Chess. Checkers and tic tac toe. Probably not the best. It is made of plastic, which I really hate it. So I'll give this like a 3 out of 10. Candy Land. Oh man, yes. Classic memory when I was like 5 or something. Grandparents used to have it back in Louisiana. Um, since I'm from Texas. Yeehaw, whatever. It is made in the USA. Candyland. Bam, I'll give this. And Jolly King right here. I'm going to give this a 10 out of 10. I love it. Risk. It's different from Axis and Allies, and it's pretty much for kids. It's 10 plus. It is really fun when you get to do it. My friends, eh. They don't like structure games. I'm really offended. <sighs> yeah, I want my dad plays with me. Uh, and I'm lucky to have them. The game of strategic conquest! Exclamation mark. As you can see right here, guy with helmet, whatever. I'll give this a nine out of ten. Seems yeah, like that. So let's go to Blocos. Weird game. It's a really weird game. I got it for my birthday from a good friend. Um, it's easy to learn, great for the families. I don't really get it. I just don't get it. It's just not that fun, anybody. Block us. You have to get the least tiles instead of the most. It really doesn't make sense for me. It's kind of weird. I'll give us a, like a five out of ten. Axis and Allies, Europe, uh, Europe uh, not Europe. N uh, Global 1942. This masterpiece. Japan, Germany. USA, Great Britain, and Soviets. This had, this is the, it's just like that, but it doesn't have any like power ups, like including the atomic bomb. It's pretty good though. I'll give us an eight out of ten. Like the game of life, I got it during COVID. I let's see, I got it during COVID. My friends, I, me and my family would play it. It's it's pretty nice. How it's pretty nice. Yeah, and they have pets. Yeah, the game of life. Seven out of ten. Here we go. I'm going in the Dungeons and Dragons. Dungeons and Dragons, whatever. <laughs> My dad loves these games. He used to play with friends back in the '80s. Seems axes and allies. Um, he loved them. But this is just the board game. The board game is different. The strategy, not the strat. It's not a strategy game. It's like a fantasy game. You get it. Castle Ravenloft and The Legend of Drizzt. I'll give these an 8 out of 10. Never really played a lot of it. So, yeah. 
Monopoly. Monopoly Junior. Not for me anymore, no. Um, I don't really play with it anymore. Yeah, 5 plus, so. Yeah, I don't really play it anymore. I used to play it a lot. Like, a lot when I was, like, 5 or 4. So, I'm going to give this 10 out of 10. I love it. I used to play it a lot when I was a kid. Play it. Play it. Play if you're young, viewers. Seinfeld. Seen it. Adult game from Seinfeld. Ugh, classic game. It's a DVD game. I'll give this a 5 out of 10. Not since I'm, like, young and I never played it. Monopoly here to here now. Here now, whatever. It is pretty nice. It doesn't come with these guys. It doesn't come with, like, those buildings. What I wish. I used to think that. <laughs> and, yeah, they just have the houses and the buildings. I love it. I'll give this a uh, 9 out of 10. Water and two engineers stratego. It's a different type of stratego. Don't like play it like the original stratego. It is very different from the original stratego. So it's Napoleon. It's Waterloo, as you can see. So I'll give this like a seven out of ten. Not, not to offend this. It's a good board game. Here we go. Axes and allies. The O two. The O. The O G. Axes and Allies, made by Milton Bradley, Game Master Series, 1984. Oh, man. My dad said how much he brings back members. This isn't the original one he played. That one broke. We got this for free from a good friend. A very good friend. And they never even played it. It's pretty sad. It's a good game. I'll give this a 10 out of 10, because I played it with my friend once. And his sister. 10 out of 10. <laughs> she was uh, Twilight Struggle made by GMT Games. The 2019 version, Deluxe Edition, 7th Whatever. Uh, but it's Twilight Struggle, Cold War, 1945, 1999. It's not really a strategy game. You just have to win, like, influence all over the world. And the other thing is... It's a card. It has cards. I love the game, so... 9 out of 10. Nine out of F and ten. Okay, then we're sh okay. Shh. Okay. There it is. Oh look, my headset. Hello, headset. Okay, I'm not I'm Xbox TV. Whatever. I like board games better.